Let's understand multiplication using the units digit method. Let's say you have to multiply two units, let's say 65 into 65. Okay, or you write this as 65, 65. Now, in a units digit method, the first thing that you need to see is that within the two digits that are there, the tenths place is same or not. If this would have been 65 and 54, then units digit method would not apply. The digit on the left hand side of the unit digit has to be the same. So in this case, because both the units on the left hand side of the unit digit are same, we can do the multiplication using the unit digit method. So as step one, what do we do? We just write these as separate digits. So you write 6, 5, 6, 5 and draw a line between these two. Write them in two parts. Okay? Then step 2, take a sum of units digits. So units digit are what? 5 and 5. When you do a sum of 5 plus 5, what do you get? You get 10. Okay. Now, please note that this 65, in 65, 6 represents 10's place. Similarly, in this 65, 6 represent 10's place. So how many tens are there once you've got this 5 plus 5? There is only one ten. So what do we do? We add this one to one of the numbers here. So let's say you do 1 plus 6, so you get 7. Add sum of unit digit to one of the numbers. So I did 1 plus 6 is equal to 7 here. Okay. Then just like in addition you used to do multiply units digit. So this is basically your let's say this is step 3, step 4. 5 into 5 gives you 25. Okay. And as step 5 multiply tens place. So you got 6 plus 1 is equal to 7 here. 7 into 6 gives you 42. Okay. So this is basically 42, 25. Just take it as it is. Is the product that you get when you multiply 65 with 65. Okay.